Hey everybody, welcome to Fiddle and Friday. Um, today I'm going to be playing this cool tune called Angeline the Baker. Okay, so this is in the key of D major. It starts on the open A string. And for uh, those violin violas out there, all you're ever gonna have to use is an open string, your first finger, and your third finger. Just remember that whenever you're, go when you're going through and learning this tune, it's only open, one, three. You won't have to use any other fingers. Kind of nice and easy that way. Okay, so here's the first part. Nice and easy. Zero, one, three, zero, one, three. So this one you have to go up to the E string for. But still it's zero, one, three. Zero, one, three, then E string. Zero, one, zero, then back down to the A string. Three. Go ahead, try it out. All right, the last part starts on the E string. Goes E, one, E, and then back down to the A string, three, one, zero. Notice that three, one, zero again. It's always that. Starts on E. Go ahead, try it out. Okay, so the whole first part goes like this. So that's the first part. You repeat that a second time. And then here is the B part. The first part we usually call, in a fiddle tune, we call that the A part, and the second part we're going to call the B part. Starts on the E string. Still, it's only zero, one, and third finger. But this one's going to start up on the A on the E string, e string so three fingers down. To break that down a little bit, it goes three, one, zero. Then goes to the A string for three, and right back to the E string. So that first part, three, one, zero, three, zero, one, zero, three. Then you try it. Go ahead. Second part. This is a part's kind of nice. It's just three, 
one, zero, three, one. The next part is the same as the beginning of the B part. So you already know that, which is pretty cool. So then the very end of this B section is also something that you've already learned. It's the same ending as the A part. So. One, E, three, one, zero, zero. So the whole B part goes. And there we go. That's Angeline the Baker. Now, when you're going and trying to learn this, if you um, are kind of like, oh, my gosh, she didn't give me enough time to go and figure it out right after, you're right. I totally didn't. So this is what you should do. When you're watching this, pause it after each section and go practice it. You can even rewind it a little bit. Go back and try and figure it out one more time. You can... Go and stop and review each one of these little parts as many times as you want. Whatever helps. I hope you have fun going and learning this tune. It's a really fun tune. And if you do learn it, send me a message. Or even better, send me a recording of you doing it. Have a wonderful Friday, and I will see you next week. <laughs>